Now, these are documents... We've learned a couple of major things about Richard McLaren since the Sunday morning hostage-taking incident. First, he and his group believe the current government of Texas is illegal and that his Republic of Texas group is the true government there. Second, McLaren and his associates have filed millions of dollars worth of liens against public officials. There are lots of parallels in Colorado. Our 9 News I team has done several stories on this man, Eric Madsen, who has similar views. Madsen is articulate and passionate as he shows his followers how the current state and federal governments are illegally constituted. He says he, Eric Madsen, is the true governor of Colorado. There's another interesting Colorado parallel with the Texas situation. In the early 1990s, public officials here were hit by hundreds of phony liens filed by a group of self-described patriots. A handful of people like this man, Russell Landers, traveled the country teaching patriot groups how to use those liens to harass politicians. Then they claimed the proceeds of those liens were legal collateral for their own banking system, and they began writing checks. The checks, of course, bounced, and Jefferson County, for one, filed fraud charges. The apparent headquarters for the phony banking scheme was this ranch on the desolate plains of eastern Montana. That's where Landers and a small group of self-described freemen took part in their own armed standoff, holding 100 FBI agents at bay for most of the spring of 96. Robert Pence was in charge of the Denver FBI office up until 1992, and he says fringe groups like these are on the increase. It's growing, there's no doubt about it. Penn says there's growing anger against taxes, the IRS, and government agents in general. Fringe groups feel disaffected, and they're finding legions of new followers. They're trying to go wherever they find someone who cares for them, someone who will listen to them, and somewhere where they belong. And I think there is a risk that more of the flare-ups, more of the violent episodes are, are going to occur.